ATP just <coughs> single fire. Now, um, I'm gonna let him review um his single fire um pistol, and we'll go down to the full auto so you can go ahead and take it. All right, so we're talking about the KWA, this is the box that comes in. The KWA ATP, stands for Adaptive Training Pistol. Um, the one I have is a semi-auto one. He's got the full auto version. The two guns are virtually identical, full auto and um, semi-auto. Uh, it's a polymer frame pistol with an aluminum alloy slide. Um, it's very similar to a Glock. The backstory behind that is that KWA got sued by Glock because they, apparently they were using, they were making the Glocks without their permission. So they used to make one-to-one -one replicas of Glocks about, I want to say it was probably five years ago, maybe more, uh, and they got sued. So they came out with this one, which interestingly enough, fits inside Glock magazine or Glock holsters, like this one and like the Blackhawk. So you notice this one will fit in a Blackhawk Serpa holster and my sons will fit in my holster, which is a G-code holster, and which is made for, well, it does fit. Actually, his has a hard time fitting because of the selector switch. So his won't fit this holster, but it fits the circle holster just fine. So they fit inside Glock holsters. So that's an interesting little fact, that the gun is ever so slightly different from a Glock, but not different enough to fit inside a Glock holster. So they changed the gun ever so slightly. They added little finger grooves. They shaped just so differently where they can't get sued. Um, the, just some specs on the gun, it's about eight inches long by five inches tall. It weighs in at 1.5 pounds with magazine inserted. Uh, it shoots between 340 to 350 FPS at 1.7 joules of energy. And I'm assuming they tested that with 20s. I use 25s with my pistols. It's got an extended mag release to make it easier, to me it makes it easier to to release the uh, slide when you're wearing gloves and whatnot. Uh, mine says adaptive training pistol on the side. My son's actually says ATP auto on the side. It doesn't say adaptive training pistol. And it says KWA over here. So being that this is not technically a real gun, it doesn't have a, it's not a real, uh, it's not a replica of a real gun. There is no ATP gun. But it's very similar to several guns and that's why they said they did that because they they were they were marking it to uh, law enforcement agencies that use Glocks or Smith and Wesson SVD7 I think they're called it's a it's a polymer uh, Smith and Wesson pistol that some police departments I think used or tested um, it's very similar uh, to the, um, the Springfield Arms the XD9s very similar to the XD9s so um, it fits in the Glock holsters. I haven't tested other holsters, but I'm suspecting that it may or may not fit some of those holsters for some of those guns. Um, so, with that said, it brings a 23 round gas, um, green gas magazine. It runs off of propane or uh, green gas. Um, if you run green gas, you know it's propane mixed with silicone oil. If you run um, propane, you know you gotta drop some silicone in once in a while to lube the inside of the gun. The gun, um, Comes apart just like a Glock. You pull down these two tabs on the on the on the, on the lower frame, and if I can do it right, pull back a little bit, and it slide comes right off. And uh, it's standard fare. Um, gun is uh, it's it's uh, very nice, well well constructed, like everything KWA does. I know some people may disagree. Some people aren't KWA fans, but um, uh, to, for me they work. That's, I've had several um, Glock. I'm sorry, several KWA pistols, and they've always seemed to work pretty good. The gun also comes with three um, uh, with three-point combat sights. They're not day glow; they won't glow in the dark at night. You, some guys have switched them out and put tritium sights on it. You can if you play a lot of night games or stuff like that. It's got a Glock-style um, safety, so you got to press the middle of it to to make it shoot. You know, press the sides doesn't work. Um, I still will show you the safety on his. Hit the the auto's got kind of like an extra safety, which is uh, he'll show you in a minute. Um, and that's pretty much it. They fit really comfortable in the hand. The way that they made the finger grooves, extremely comfortable. It comes with in the box. It comes with the extra back straps. I have the bigger back strap on mine because I have a bigger hand. But they fit very comfortable. My son will show you. I mean, he's got he's a smaller guy than me. He has a smaller hand, and it still fits his hand very comfortable. Which is one thing I liked when I was looking for a pistol. Um, I looked at other pistols I've had and sold other pistols and I, what I liked about this one is just the way it feel, fits in the hand it's very light uh, it's a light gun to carry around in a holster whether you have it on your vest or you have it on your hip I carry it on my hip and my holster 
and it, you don't even realize you have it on you. You can, some, I used to sometimes just throw it inside one of my mag pouches on my vest and Velcro it down, and you didn't even know it was there. Very light, very comfortable to shoot. It uses um, the mags, the, the ATP mags. Um, you can also use um, other um, KWA mags for like the FMG or the, if you can find, I don't think they ever made NS2 Glock magazine because this is NS2 system. So the old Glock magazine for the NS2, while they will fit, but you can put them in here, they will, they will fit, but they won't work. Um, because of the different system, the NS2 system came out, at, I believe it came out after they got sued by Glock. If somebody knows any different, you can com you can um, you know, leave a comment letting me know any different. I'm not sure about that. If, if they did come out with some Glock NS2 mags, they probably would work. Uh, but again, uh, it uses the NS2 system, 23 round mag. You load it to the bottom just like any other magazine. And that's pretty much it. Um, we'll have a little shooting video at the end showing you how the gun shoots. I'll shoot my semi. He'll shoot his full auto. Full auto is a ton of fun to shoot. You know, um, they, they, these guns are actually extremely accurate. Uh, we live in North Carolina. We play every year in Fold the Gap. And I, I use it at Fold the Gap because my main gun went down. And I played with it oh, like at least the last half of the second day. And I had to play with the gun with my pistol only. And I actually got some people from pretty good distance, more than I thought with one of these guns with a pistol. So with that said, I'll throw it over to my son. He'll show you his uh, full auto. All right, guys. So like he said, um, the um, KWA ATP auto is practically the same thing to the just the KWA ATP regular. Um, like he said about the whole safety thing, you do have that little trigger safety that is exactly like a Glock. But mine also has a second safety where um, you can press the trigger, but nothing will actually shoot um, because it's your third setting on your little knob. So you can go from um, to, from semi to safety to full. So um, in order to go to um, full auto or semi, whatever setting you want, I'll put it in. You want to just get your slide and you want to slightly push it back like this. And you want to move your knob to whatever setting you want. So let's say you want semi, um, you just push it up like that and you have it on semi. If you want to put it on full, push it down to full. Or just safety, you put it like that. And you can just um, press the trigger and nothing will happen. Perfect. I, um, I've had a couple misfires before and that was with my old Wii um, Colt 1911. And I've had misfires with that thing and that, it was just a pain in the butt. So getting this thing that um, it has a good safety was just excellent. Now, um, a couple of, you can add um, accessories and attachments. Um, when we go to CQB places, I would, um, I put on um, this flash, um, this flashlight. This, um, so, um, looks a bit like a USB 45. I just, I just think like that. But, um, if you're going to run with like a black um, hawk holster, you can't fit um, your pistol in because the flat the flashlight's at the end, so you can't um, you can't put that there. So um, you have to run it with no accessories. But um, there are certain um, holsters you can get that are for lights too. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for um, my part of the ATP. Um, like you said, everything that's on the regular one is in this. The only difference is you just have um, full auto and semi. Now real quick I'm just going to show you what you get in the box usually. You'll get your gun loader and you'll get an, um, an extra um, back strap. Yeah, back strap. I was thinking about that. I couldn't say that. Um, you get your um, you get your hop up tool and usually you'll get a little bit of oil. Um, this is, I think someone already bought this. Um, we got but, the guns used. Yeah. Buy some. Yeah. Um, so um, this is this um, was most likely previously bought, but you will um, you will get um, some oil. Now something I just want to throw out, like you said about the magazines, that you can um, load them like this, but with green gas, it's very hard to without it leaking. So if you want to use like a um, the extension for it, you would have something that goes like this. I'll just go on top, and you can just stick in through here. So if you just want to do it like that, um, I probably wouldn't do it um, like that because you could lose the piece and it would um, just be a bigger pain in the butt to try and Let me just show you um, just a quick little show you with the, with the uh, hop-up adjustment tool that comes with it. The way to adjust the hop-up, it comes with this little metal tool. 
is you put the slide back, and when you look inside inside the slide, in the front part of the slide, there's some little teeth that match up with this thing. And all you do is you, put, you pretty much stick this in here, you line it up and it'll catch these little teeth. And you turn it left or right to increase or decrease hop on the gun. That's how you adjust the hop up. Um, and another thing is to, uh, on the magazines that come with it, some of the other mags, I have some a AFG mags and those, those work a little different. But on these mags to fill the green gas, if you don't want to use an extender, you can pull the bottom, there's a little thing on the bottom you pull down on, and you can bring this forward so it's like nice and flat and you can, and the fill, the fill nipples right there. Um, the filling porch right there. So it's just a little side note. If you don't want to use it, it does have a hole, but if you don't want to use an extender or use an, or you don't have a, a can of green gas with a really long fill needle, you can do that. And, and like how he was taking, like how he was taking off his little, um, little door thing. Um, you, you guys saw me. Um, I, you can't actually take this thing off. So, um, you can, you can just take this thing off and load it. But I actually think it'd be a bigger pain to do that. So, like he had it, just have it stick out like this, and you can just close it up and stick it in your gun and shoot. So, that's another thing that you can get. So, now we're going to do the shooting video. Um, so, we'll be right back. Alright. So, we're right back here, Sons of Gun Airsoft and Paintball, for a little shooting portion of our video. I got the semi auto KWA ATP. We're going to shoot some Balkan .25s through it. Alright, load it up. Alright, here we go. And we're out. Now my son's gonna come over and do his uh, full auto one. Alright, guys, so um, this is the KWA ATP auto um, shooting test. Um, I have a full round here. Um, like I said, 23 BB, or like he said, 23 round double stack BB um, magazine. Now, like I said, how to load it, you stick your mag in, you push your, you push your slide a little bit back like so, and put it in whatever setting. I'm going to go semi, and then I'm going to show you guys full auto. Here we go. Alright, so that was semi. Now I'm going to put it in full. So, like I said, pull it back, full auto. Alright, so that was it for the, um, for the ATP auto. Um, excuse the dog barking, please. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Um, if you did like this video, please share it. Um, so thanks. This is Carlos Jr. and Carlos signing out. Peace.